right now. That's my bad timer. Let's get that ready to get started. All right. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I'm really glad you could join us today. Uh, my name is Greg Alexander. I'm the Director of Education here at the B Street Theater. And for the past uh, 10 weeks now, it's been my privilege to sit in and participate in this amazing uh, class featuring some of our very talented 9 to 12 year olds, our youth group. We've been working on a play, an adaptation uh, made especially for Zoom. And um, I will tell you from a personal standpoint, uh, working on Zoom and teaching on Zoom and so many of us, as so many of us are doing, working from home, trying to be safe, um, it can be very tiring, but I have to say that uh, coming to these classes and, and being a part of these classes has been a real boost of energy. So I really appreciate all of the effort and energy that these young people have brought. Um, we have a lot of folks here visiting with us. I want to give a special shout out to Mr. Krongeier's class. I think they might be visiting us from Taylor Street School. Hello, Taylor Street. And so with that, I tell you what I want to do is I'm going to bring in the, the director of our play. She's been uh, leading this class and done a wonderful adaptation, and that's Miss Juliana. You want to come on? Hi, Hi guys. Well, Hi, guys. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to you, and with that, uh, I'm going to turn my camera off. And if you want to say a few words before we start, I will see you after the show. And hey, everybody also. Of course. I'm going to turn uh, the chat off just so it's not distracting during the show. But once the show is over, please feel free to. Uh, to show your love. So I'm going to turn the that off. There we go. Okay. So you guys enjoy the show, Miss Juliana. It's I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you. Yes, we are so excited for you guys to join us today. It has been such a whirlwind 10 weeks, but everyone did such a great job from designing costumes, which I can't wait for you to see, building props and set pieces and puppets. So they've really done a great job of coming together as a team and working together through all the technology bumps and hiccups that we come into when we're working on Zoom. And I can't wait to share with you today our version of the Lorax. Hey, it's me, and I'm the cat in the hat, and I am the best thing in the world, and I'm going to make your day. Today, we are going on a journey and learn about a world not very different from ours. In the places we'll go, there are things that we'll see that we could never spell if we stopped the Z. I'm telling you this because you're one of my friends. Our alphabet starts where your alphabet. At the far end of town where the gristle grass grows and the wind smells slow and sour, accepting old crows. And no birds ever sing, excepting old crows. In, is the street that a creature named the Lorax knows? It is here, deep in the crucial grass, some people say, where the Lorax once stood just as long as it could before somebody lifted the Lorax away. What was the Lorax? Why was it there? Why was it lifted and taken somewhere? From the far end of town where the gristle grass grows, the ones who are still lives there. You won't see the one. No, look at his door. He lurks in his lurkum cold under the roof, where he makes his own clothes out of myth muffin moof. And on special dink midnights in August, he peeks out of the shutters, and sometimes he speaks. and tells how the Lorax was lifted away, he'll tell you, perhaps, if you're willing to pay. How much does it cost to hear the great story of the one seller in his days of glory? End of a rope, he lets down a pail. You have to toss in 15 cents and a nail and the shell of a great, great grandfather's snail. I have 15 cents. And here's the nail. I found the shell of a great, great, great grandfather's nail. I will call you by the whisper my phone, for the secrets I tell are for your ears alone. Now I will tell you how the Lorax got lifted and taken away. 
It all started way back, such a long, long time back. Way back in the days when the day when the grass was still green and the pond was still wet and the clouds were still clean. And the song of the Swami Swans rang out in space. One morning I came to this glorious place. One morning I you know, at first I saw the trees, the truffle of trees, had bright colored tufts of the truffle of trees, mile after mile in this fresh morning breeze. And under the trees, I saw brown barber loots whisking about in their barber loot suits. As they played in the shade and ate truffle with trees from the rippless pond came a comfortable sound of humming fish humming while splashing around. Those trees, those trees, those truffle of trees. All my life, I was searching for trees such as these. The touch of the tusks was much softer than silk. I knew what I'd do. I unloaded a cart. In no time at all, I had built a small shop, and then I chopped a tree, a truffle tree, with just one chop. What are you doing to my tree stump, buddy? Your tree stump, your tree stump, this stump. I am the Lex. I see. Forget it. I don't need. I don't really need this stump. And with great skill, full scale, and with great speedy speed, the ones that will took the stock off in the lift. Master, I am the Lord. I speak for the trees. I speak for the trees, for the trees have no tongue. And that's why, sir, I'm asking you at the top of my life. And what is that thing you made of my truffle atop? Look, Lord, there's no cause for alarm. I just chopped one tree. I'm doing no harm. I'm being quite useful. This thing is a need. A need to find something that all people need. It's a shirt, it's a sock, it's a glove, it's a hat. But it has other uses, yes, far beyond that. You can use it for carpets, for pillows, for sheets, for covers, or even bicycle sheets. Sir, you are crazy with greed. There is no one on earth who would buy that full need. Very next minute, I proved he was wrong. For just that minute, a job came along. Well, that need you knitted is great. I'll happily buy it for three ninety eight. You poor guy. You never can tell what some people will buy. I repeat, I speak for the tree. I'm busy. Be quiet, if you please. Paul's brothers and uncles and aunts and said. Listen here, here's a wonderful chance for the whole one sort family to get mighty rich. And in no time at all, in the factory he built, no and all in the factory he built, the whole one solar family is working full tilt. They're all knitting knees just as busy as bees to stand to the chopping truffle. Oh, baby, oh, how a business can grow. Now, chopping one tree is just too slow. Lee invented a super axe hacker which whacked off all four truffle in one small. They're making knees four times less than before. In that Lorax? He didn't show up anymore. You know, business is such a success. I didn't stop to realize that I was making a mess. Needs something that all people needed. But I did not listen to the Lorex who pleaded and pleaded. He did not understand how much money I was making. And I could charge a hundred dollars and people would keep taking. As time went on, the sky began to turn gray and the ponds began to get dark. And us onceers, we stayed. You remember the walks who had walked away quite sore? Well the very next day he came knocking on the onceers front door. I am 
the larks. He speaks through the trees. Would you seem to be chopping down as fast as you please? I'm also in charge of the brown barbaloot who happily played in their barbaloot suit and happily live eating truffle and fruits. Now, thanks to you hacking my cheese to the ground, there is not enough truffle and fruit to go around, and my poor marble lips are all getting the crummies. We had gas and we had gas and no food in our tummies. We are living here, so we can't say. We have to find okay. hope that we may. Good luck, guys. I feel sad to watch them go, but business is business, and a business must grow, regardless of crummies and tummies, you know. The onceler meant no harm, he truly did not. The onceler meant no harm, he truly did not. But he had to grow bigger, so bigger he got. He biggered his factory, he biggered his roads. He biggered his wagons, he biggered his loads. Of oh, the needs we ship out, we ship them forth to the south, to the east, to the west, to the north. You're making to smuggle the smoke. My poor swanny swans, why can't they sing a note? No one can sing who has a smog in his throat. We cannot live here. We are moving away. I know what you're asking. Where will we go? We'd like to tell you, but we don't rightly know. We may have to fly for a month or a year to escape from the smog we smogged up around here. Your machinery clungs on day and night without stop. Your making is glumpity glump, awful scumpity scump. And what do you do with the leftover goo? I'll tell you, you dirty old Winsler man, you. You're glumping the pond with a humming for stump. No more can they hum for their gills are all gone. Go away, or, or our future is dairy. We'll walk on our fins and get woefully weary. In search of some water that isn't so smeary. <laughs> wow, that was sad. What will they go? The clouds are all dried. The water is dry. I hope things aren't as bad as they are in your room. You might say I'm old fashioned that I live in the past. <laughs> But sometimes I think progress is too fast. <laughs> All you do is yap, 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 and say, bad, 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 bad. Well, I have my rights, sir, and I'm telling you, I intend to go on doing what I do. We are biggering and biggering and biggering and biggering to more trouble and need and fifth needs, which everyone 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 needs at that very moment they all heard a loud whack from outside in the fields came a sickening snack of an axe on a tree and we heard the tree fall the very last truffle tree the last of them all no more trees no more needs no more work to be done all that was left beneath the bad smelling sky was the big empty factory, the Lorax and the Launchler. And all that the Lorax left in this mess was this small pile of rocks with the one word, unless. Whatever that meant, well, the ones Lorax just couldn't get. That was a long, long time ago. But each day since, I've sat here worried and worried and worried away. Through the years, my buildings have fallen apart. I've worried about it with all my heart. But now that you're here, the one word of the lot seems perfectly clear. Unless, unless someone like you who cares such an awful lot, nothing's going to get better.
So, catch. What's this? It's a truckload of seed. It's the last one of them all. You are in charge of the truckload. The truckload is what everyone, everyone, everyone needs. I will plant a new truffle tree. I will treat it with care. I will give it clean water and feed it fresh air. I will grow a forest and protect it from axes that hack. So then the Lorax and all of its friends may come back. Speak for the trees, for the trees have no tongues. In other words, speak out, speak up, speak for the causes that cannot speak for themselves. You have brains in your head and feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Wash your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet. You're too smart to go down any not so good street. So unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is ever going to get better. It's not. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, everyone. It was really great to have you here. Um, I also, I just wanted to send a quick shout out to Mr. Jacob Montoya, who provided the closing number. That was awesome. Thank you again so much for being here. We really appreciate your coming. Um, I, I, we have classes that are going to be coming up again in January. I'm going to share my screen briefly just to acknowledge a few people. If you guys want to hang out on screen, I'm sure people want to give you some love. If you look down in the chat, you want to send out some uh, warm thoughts to your young friends and actors and classmates. That's appreciated. I'm going to share my screen right there. It is the Lorax. Uh, I want to thank um, Sierra Oaks Dental. They were a sponsor of our classes. They helped underwrite some of the, stu uh, the, the cost of the classes, providing scholarships. I also want to acknowledge one of our great uh, patrons and supporters of the arts, especially when it comes to supporting the work that we do here with the Studio for Young Actors, and that's Suzanne Holton, who I believe is out in the audience right now watching us. Suzanne has been a longtime subscriber to B Street Theater, and also she is taking one of our virtual adult acting classes. You can look at her pictures right there on the screen, and I believe the one on the right is from her uh, performance in The Ladies' Foursome. Suzanne is a great, great uh, friend of the theater. Um, and there we have, these are the classes that are coming up. You can see they're actually on the web right now. I'm going to put that in the chat in just a second so you can see it. Um, we have classes starting again in the second week in, in January. So I am now going to stop sharing my screen. And let me see if I can get out of here. I have to figure this out. I'm still, still learning Zoom, man. All right, folks. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I'm going to look down here in the chat. Lots of fun. Thank you, B Street. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, boy. Who's that? They, they, they say woo for they say woo for a really long time. So thanks a lot, you guys. You're welcome to hang out if you want. Um, otherwise, you are free uh, to go.
thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you guys. Ms. Juliana, do you want to add anything there? Yes, thank you so much for our audience for attending. These actors have been rehearsing for such a long time and they deserved such a great audience that you guys have been. So thank you so much for coming out and supporting us today. Thank you. Okay, we Good hope- Good job guys, you're amazing. Have a great evening, stay safe everybody. We hope to Bye, see you guys. back in January. Great job, Kylie. Good job, Maya. Obasi, you were fabulous. And Nigel, thank you. Jackson, excellent work. Marley, way to go. Aurora, terrific work. Great, great, great. Lol, lol. Bye, guys. Bye, Kylie. Bye, Marley. Bye, Obasi. And bye to our audience members. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have an anonymous question, Mr. Greg, that said, why is this so good?